Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here, again in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to a brand new groundbreaking week of Guitar of the Day. The guitars have landed. We're back in the Telecaster selling business. We got Woo! all sorts of cool stuff in here right now. Dripping with cool stuff again. Let's see. Oh, today was my son Nico's first day of preschool. How about that? Amazing. I gotta tell you what, man. Preschool in LA is quite the racket, man. <laughs> Two days a week, man, that's like, it's like adding an E-Class Mercedes in my driveway to, for this kid to go play in the backyard and watch other kids piss their pants for two days a week. I got friends that pay like $3,000 a month for their kid to go to preschool five days a week. It's ridiculous. This kid should be playing with sticks. But you know, if he doesn't pass his preschool entrance exams, he probably won't get into a good college. So I <laughs> guess I should be spending money on that kind of shit now. And I just got a call from my wife. He just fell down and chipped his tooth. They're on their way to the doctor. Never ends at the Agnesi house, man. Lots of fun. Hey, it's Telly Tuesday. I've been waiting, waiting, waiting for this guitar to come in. It's here. Let's do it. So rad. Come on back. This is from 1975. Yep, original Ooh. Fender Telecaster Custom, black maple neck. Oh yeah, that's the exact same year as Keith's. Mm -hmm. In case you were wondering. So cool. Oh God, no. We don't need to talk about how much I love these but we will for a second. I really like these guitars. Um, you know, on a lot of the vintage tellies, if you want to keep them stock, the neck pickup's totally useless. You know, it sounds like this. Yeah, you can do certain things with it, but there's not a lot. Unless you want to go mod and stuff out, which if you buy an old vintage guitar like that, the whole point's to kind of keep it straight. For me, a humbucker in the neck is a hell of a lot more practical. Obviously it was for Keith too. He added it to his Blackguard and to his Sunburst telly. So when this guitar came out, Obviously it was a shoe in uh, for what he wanted to do. So we've got the regular Telecaster pickup in the bridge, the twanger, which is the best part of the Tele, in my humble opinion. And then up here we have one of Seth Lover's wide range humbucking pickups, uh, which was a new design they came out with in 72. You'll see it on the Tele Custom, which is this model. You'll see it on the Tele Deluxe. We've done those before as well. That'll have a pair of the wide range pickups and the big old Strat headstock. And you'll also see it on the Series 2 Tele Thin Lines. Two of the humbuckers with the F-hole. We did one of those not too long ago as well. But this is my favorite version, the Custom, because you can still get the Tele sounds out of it. And then you just add the humbucker at the neck. Um, look at the wear on this. Look at the checking. Oh, oh, it's all vibey. Vibey, vibey, vibey. Vibe Viberson, the vibiest kid in Vibe Town, right here. Uh, you know, you got some wear back here in the first position on the back of the neck. Also, this guitar has been refretted. What's cool though is they use the same kind of vintage correct size fret. It's just a little bit taller because sometimes those vintage frets are so low after you play them for a while, string bending gets a little hard. So this is the same width. It really didn't mess up anything. They didn't have to do anything to the neck, but they're a little bit taller. So there's just a little bit more meat on there. We got a set of the Fender impressed closed back fender tuners, oh, volumes and tones for each pickup, three-way switch to go through. Man, been waiting all day to do this. It's already an open G, ready to go. <laughs> Let's go hit the couch. I even got a cool amp to plug it into today while this thing lasts. It'll probably be gone by tomorrow. Let's go plug it in, get our Keith on. All right, we're out front. We have the 1975 Fender Telecaster Custom, original black with black guard maple neck. Uh, we switched up the amp today. Norm picked this guy up at, uh, over the weekend. This original 1958 narrow panel Fender Tweed Vibrolux. Uh, EQs at noon. Or just the tone knob at noon. Volume's on about nine. Let's start <laughs> up on that wide range humbucker. See what this thing can do.
going in the middle position, we got a combination of that wide range uh, humbucker back with the old Telecaster pickup. See what kind of fun sounds we get there. <laughs> pickup all by itself. Let's capo the guitar up real quick. See what this thing sounds like wide open in the bridge. <laughs> original Fender Telecaster Custom black with the black guard maple neck just like Keith's even vibey like Keith's although Keith's is way more modded out than this this one's still straight just the refret on this and the natural wear and tear that you see that just makes it oh so rad there's your Telly Tuesday for this week follow me on Instagram at Mark Agnesi follow the store at, at Norman's Rare Guitars and check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com we got cool new stuff all week coming at you. Come back and see us again tomorrow for another episode of Guitar of the Day. Peace.